All right. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a physically accurate uh, atmosphere, or at least pretty close to physically accurate. Definitely could use some work, but um, all right, make, make a new Blender scene, clear everything, and add in a cube tab to edit mode. Right click, subdivide, and then click Shift R four times. One, two, three, four, and then Shift Alt and S. And you can either drag here or just type in one to transform it into a sphere. And then go to the properties panel with N, item, dimensions. If you hold one of these and just drag down on all of them, you can uh, change the values for all of them. And just type in two. And then in your object here, Control A. All transforms. Just close the properties panel and then shade auto smooth. Okay. Um, so we'll call this our test ground. And then duplicate that. Call it your atmosphere. So go to your ground material and call this test ground oops t t uh, that took a weird amount of time okay test ground and then atmosphere and then in your render uh, render properties set your render engine to cycles gpu if you have one noise threshold for viewport i found uh, 0 0.0025 is the best with 256 max samples and 64 minimum for your light paths Set total to 6, diffuse to 2, or diffuse to 1, glossy to 2, uh, transmission to 6, volume 2 works, and then 6 for transparent. Go down to where it says volumes here, set the max steps to like 512, and both of these set to 0 0.01, and... That's pretty much it. Okay, oh, and for the uh, light, add in a sun and rotate it on the x-axis 80 degrees. Set the angle here and the light properties to 0.06 and the strength to 2.56. And then set your background strength to 0 color to black. So if I hide the atmosphere real quick, we'll work on the test ground first. So switch over to your shading tab. And uh, clear out all of these. Okay. Now if you grab a uh, checker texture Plug the factor into the surface, and then use object coordinates, or normal, no, object coordinates into the vector, and set this color to just like that. Set the scale to uh, uh, set the scale to one. And then, if you want, you can turn on um, snap um, just on grid mode, and you can organize these a little bit better. So that's our test planet shader. And now for the atmosphere for our... Oh, actually, wait. Uh, we got to change a setting for atmosphere. Go to the materials, settings, displacement... Uh, to displacement only, and oh, that's a new setting. I guess auto. Hmm. Okay, and then go back to your shading tab. Oh, actually, for your test ground, just plug this into a diffuse with zero roughness. Go back to your atmosphere, give it a displacement node. Uh, with a mid-level of zero, 
plug that in there. And then uh, if I click on this, you can see that when, OK, it's a bit hard to see. Um, OK, so grab a uh, texture coordinate object into the uh, surface. Oh, here we go. Here, I'll just make this like 0.25 so we could see it over the planet. So object, and then uh, grab a vector math, switch this to length. Um, the shortcut for that is just click on this and click L to set it to length. And then go math, subtract, and subtract 1. And then divide, clamp. And then put another divide down here and turn off clamping. Set the value to 100 and the value here to 1. Just put a value value node right here and call this atmosphere thickness. Plug that right there. Set that to 1. Plug this into there. Unclamp that node right here and then set this to multiply the value of 15. Um, and then set this to a power node and then bring this from the base down to the exponent. And then multiply this value by 25. Uh, wait, no, not 25, sorry. 200, uh, try 256 actually, and set this to like 16. Set this to like 128. Might work. Okay, and if you plug that into the volume, it's a bit big at the moment. But you can plug this node into the height. And you can kind of see what that's doing. Yeah, let's just try 250, 15, and 100. Okay. And then just organize these a little bit because we're going to turn this into a node group. So grab another one of these, multiply, just multiply by one, and put it here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so disconnect these, highlight all of these, and click Control and G to turn it into a node group. Plug this there instead, and click N, go to Group, and here just call this Atmosphere Thickness. And then um, we want to plug that, uh, multiply the one that's multiplying by 250 into here and call this atmosphere. Oops. At, okay. Atmosphere uh, density. And then this one into here, call that absorption amount. And this one is just atmosphere thickness or height. Here, you know what? Yeah, let's let's call that height instead. And same with this. Instead of th thickness, call it height. Okay. So now we've got this, which is our density. So call that density. And then. Uh, you can plug that into the displacement and then grab an add shader. Um, plug that into the volume. And then you want a volume scatter and a volume absorption node. Plug those in like this. And then for the atmosphere density, plug that density into the volume scatter and the absorption amount into the volume absorption. And you can kind of see this taking shape. 
but that's not the the colors for that isn't really realistic yet. So uh, grab a mix, set that to color. Um, to do that quickly, just click in this box and click C on your keyboard. Uh, switch this factor to zero, set this to black, and this to whatever you want for your atmosphere. I'll just do this for now. So you can, you can see that this is our atmosphere color. And then um, we need to duplicate this and set this to subtract. And for this one, you can't click S. You have to click B to set it to subtract. Otherwise, it sets to a screen. Okay, and then you want to subtract it from white. Um, and then set this as the volume absorption. So it's the exact opposite color of that. And you can see, like if I set this to purple, you can see it turns to green. If I set it to green, you can see it turns to purple. Right. And then we can group this. And then this one is our atmosphere. And this one is our extinction. And this is just color. So we'll just call this atmosphere color. And there is, oh, actually, um, go to your atmosphere and click subdivide one more time and then shift alt s one. And then you can here, if I go over here, uh, let's set this to uh, 0.0001. You can kind of see what it's doing. And for some reason, there's this really weird grid on here. But that's because the weird uh, test surface for the planet in another tutorial, I'll make um, a procedural planet shader with this atmosphere. And you can see what it would look like. Or if you already have your own, you can use that too. Just have fun experimenting around with this. And, uh, oh yeah, and you can change the uh, height of the atmosphere. Um, color of course you can make it look like whatever you want all right that wraps up this tutorial uh bye